Well, Little Axe basically, we had a, a band called Tackhead a number of years ago, which came um, when Doug Wimbish, Skip, Keith and myself met. And uh, we were working with another artist called Mark Stewart. And basically Tackhead was funk, noisy, and that was at the time of period what we were all listening to. But basically after that, the demise of Tackhead, we, um, you know, my background is basically I'm a reggae fan who got his hands on a mixing desk and Skip's background is basically blues, R&B and blues. So we thought, um, we had another friend called Steve Barker who's a huge blues aficionado and um, we decided to make a blues record but the blueprint we had, we were trying to use kind of a bit of the funk, a bit of the dub, um, but all the colouring of the blues. So basically we could grow old disgracefully because Skip would be a very young blues man. I'm just about to see my new album released. It's called Stone Cold Ohio. It gives homage to my birthplace. I'm from Dayton, Ohio, and to my roots, which are gospel, blues, and a bit later on, dub. So we're having a blues, dub, gospel crash. <laughs> There's a lot of raw diamonds out there. It's Skip McDonald is one of them. He's, he's, he's like your most classic raw diamond walking in the flesh. Skip, I, I always look at Skip as a center point. He's always been the most quietest one and the most chilled out. And that's how, you know, and things gravitate to a person that has that balance and that at the same time can, can create a great buoyancy, not for themselves, but for you. And um, so just, he's just, um, he's just like Yoda. He's like a magic person. He's not coming with all the flash. He doesn't go to sleep with his stage clothes on. He's real. The intention of Little Axe was to do a 21st century blues band, not a traditional blues band. It's, a, it's an experimental band. You might hear something from way in the past, or you might hear something you've never heard before, or you might hear different instrument combinations. You might see different pictures of Little Axe, kind of maybe with tabla drums and a harmonica. You might see Little Axe with two guitars. You might see Little Axe as you see us today, with, uh, uh, as you will see them tomorrow, actually, with a full crew. Right now, it's uh, Doug Wimbish, Keith LeBlanc, Bernard Fowler, myself, Adrian Sherwood on the mixing desk. And we'll have Kevin Gibbs and Sarah Nella Bell tomorrow on background vocals, so it'll be the full full team. Before there were computers and um, 
drum machines and all that stuff. You had to get, if you wanted to get a record uh, recorded in a, you know, a decent amount of time, you'd get a rhythm section that uh, is used to playing together, you know, can kind of do it right away. So we were, were probably the last one of those type rhythm sections. Um, still living. <laughs> So uh, we caught the tail end of that. And we did that for quite a few years in New Jersey for, for a lot of the rap uh, music of the time, kind of the first rap band. So I've known them going over 20 years now. <laughs>